I recently got a question asking, how can we solo just the effects channel track without the sources that are feeding the effects channel track? So let's take a look at how we can get that set up. The first thing we want to do is to use the control room to achieve this functionality. So we want to go to your VST connections and you could open this by hitting F4 and probably under the outputs tab for your main stereo output, I'm just gonna choose not connected. And it seems counterintuitive, but we're gonna now go to the studio tab and activate the control room. And then once we do that, we're gonna set our monitor source here. This way we don't have a double busing of the audio signal. Once that's done, let's go ahead and listen to our example here. We're gonna have like vocal and piano feeding into our revelation reverb. Now when I solo the Revelation Reverb Return Channel, we see that not only the piano gets soloed along with it, but also the lead vocal feeding into that effects channel send is also soloed. So now when we play, what we're able to do is to hear the source material. And if I only wanted to hear what was going on on the effects channel return, I could just hit the L button and this goes to the listen bus. And now if I wanted to just do something like do high pass filter, and again, this is the only listening to the effects return channel. Isolate it when you hit L. When you solo, you hear the effects channels and the source is feeding into it. But again, activating the listen. That's isolating just the effects channel return. So as you can see, it's pretty easy to audition and solo with the sources or solo without the sources using the listen bus. If you found this video helpful, please feel free to like the video and to subscribe to the channel.